welcome to Permadeath Extraordinaire, where it's episode three of RimWorld: Gilligan's Island, which is based around the archetype, or based around the old show. Anyway, the last few sessions I've been having problems with words, so pay no attention to me. And last episode was very quiet because I streamed for about four or five hours, and uh, eventually kind of ran out of things to say, and there was no viewers, and, and a blah, and a blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so let's get right to it. Oh, first, I forgot to show the mods last time, so I will show them here real quick. Won't go into what they all do, but I have been asked about the mods list. It's extensive. Lots and lots and lots. It's amazing they all work together. Uh, there's a few that I was going to add, but haven't, so yeah, just the green check ones, of course. Okay, with that said, let's move right on. I was playing a little single player thing which I may bring into uh, an episode. But yes, we're doing the Fighting Gilligans. The other scenarios are just tests, if you will. Wanted to see how the hobbits worked. Also wanted to see how the dwarves worked. Now this episode might be a short one or a broken one, because I may have to stop and head off for a little bit of dinner. Okay, let's remember what we're doing here. First off, I'm going to get rid of these. There we go. All right. We decided we were going to do some mining, cut it off because they're over -cued. People have their own room now. Rooms that are uh, reasonably well. Yeah, the temperature is actually pretty good compared to what it is outside. Uh, I think we already... Did we gather this? Yes, we already gathered that. And an ancient danger. I'm going to leave this active because I'm dumb and I'll forget that. And I'll try breaking in there and then I'll end up screwed. We had pondered the possibility of using the environment to help us. This Brachiosaurus is unconscious. We just got done <laughs> grabbing this Allosaurus. Um, is that, or I'm sorry, Eutyranius? Eutyranus? Eutyran? That doesn't seem right. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm not going to bother. Okay, it looks like I've got these guys on some kind of errand here. Oh, he's unconscious because he's sleeping. I think. Uh, bleeding out, maybe before morning. I think... I think... Pretty much everybody has their own room now, huh? Well, kinda. Where is Ginger? Cooking, okay. Lovey sleeping. We're gonna have to make a lot of beef jerky. Really soon. So, let's go do this. Oh, they're actually cooking some shrimp here and there. I always do them in lots of 20. That way I can tell what's being used and what's not. Um, I don't know why 20s. Likely so I don't have to return to it every two minutes when they get groups of 10 done. This will be useful. All right, what are we working with here? Not a lot. I don't need that. Let's keep that one open. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay, so these are primarily the ones I like to track. And usually I don't even track the food that close, but we seem to be doing pretty good on this whole food thing. And we still have so much here. Vents are open, so it should be really cold in here, so the meat won't go bad anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, I figured she was going to do that. Oh, well, at least she got grabbed three at one time. Okay, so I need to... We need bricks. And our mining endeavors have not turned out so well. Wow, this is just a mess over here. Pretty much everything's gone out of this valley now. It was once teeming with life. Now there's a bear, a couple of bears. All right. We need bricks really, really badly. That looks weird over there. Um, I don't know why, it just struck me as strange. All right, let's just do some mining. Try and get some chunks generated. Let's see, I don't want to go within five. One, two. So if we go right about here, we should be all right. Don't want to get too close to the outside edge. Just because we don't want people breaking through and all that. Okay, so hopefully this will generate some stone chunks that we can use. I could send them out here. What do we got here? Marble. It's all marble. Okay, we'll take it. And we'll start turning it into things. Boy, I would like to get some of these. They're kind of expensive. And I would like to have an actual room first. But, gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go ahead and add some marble blocks here. And we'll add some marble blocks here. How many do we think are out here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Arctic fox is hunting my squirrel. There's not much I can do about the animals right now. We'll do farming a little bit later. Or animal farming, I should say, a little later. Now, we also broke somebody's resistance? Isn't there a chat history? Did they add that yet? Yes, thank you so much for adding this. Squirrels being attacked. Ray Wolfen's resistance. Can we? Ah, oh, all right. I really like they added this. It wasn't in the earlier versions, and if it was, I was far too dumb to find it, even though I looked for it. Um, let's see. What are we doing here? Let's just reduce the resistance again. That seemed to work pretty good. Where is Ray Wolfen? Here he is. Let's make sure he's being recruited. Okay. Awesome. Now. Sorry, Squirrel One. Nobody had an attachment to it yet, so that shouldn't affect anybody too much. Fox, this fox is tamed, isn't he? No, he's not. We have a wild fox in the house. That... I, I can't see where that could cause any problems at all. In other words, we'll deal with that here in just a little bit. Lovey, you're the best of the cooks. Oh, really, then? Do that. Skipper and Marianne are making love while somebody's carving rocks in the background. Uh, okay. Of course she would do that first. I wonder if there's a way to prioritize what they butcher. I imagine there is. I could forbid certain things. Oops, the 
forgot to count these. How many do we think we have here? Three, five, six, 13-ish? 17-ish? We'll estimate 15. They already made one. Good enough. That'll work. I just need some random blocks for now until we can turn up something. I'd love to build in all one kind of block, but it's just not going to work that way. How are we doing on wood? Oh, grim. Oh, 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 it happened. I figured that was going to happen. Okay, so what I need to do is I got to suspend all this. This has to be suspended for the moment. Because they need to concentrate on just making a lot of jerky. That's 200 units of jerky. <laughs> that should be plenty. Now, is there another place that we can do that? No. I can salt, but I don't have no salt. Oh, but wait. I thought I saw some. When I was poking around the map. I sure hope that wasn't on my single player that I was messing around with last night. But I thought for sure I saw some salt out of the corner of my eye. It's kind of tucked away into a little. If anybody sees it, tell me. I thought for sure there was something. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, I'll find it eventually. But when I do, that'll open up some possibilities. I'm wondering if we should open up a passageway to this back area. Yes, yes, I think we should. Okay, but we want it to be kind of accessible or defensible. I like making the passages double wide so that people don't crowd each other. I also try to give them a more direct access, but this... It's... I'm doing this more or less for fishing. So we can go fish. We could fish out here. We could also farm, though. We can use this geothermal heat to our advantage. Uh... Sand. I don't think we can do terraform. Can we terraform yet? I don't I don't think we can change the ground around. In which case that kind of stinks. We can hydroponic them. You know what? Let's not do that yet. We're just gonna leave that alone. Let them work and get some of the work done that I've already queued him up for. And I definitely need to watch Lubby here. You need to not butcher anymore and do this. Actually have a kebab before you start because you're going to be there a long time. Ah, Ray Wolfen has already joined us. Um, what's he doing? Yeah, put on some clothes. Yeah, your peril's a little tattered. Sorry about that. You know what? This loom, or, uh, yeah, tailoring station, can tear things apart, I think. Yes, it can. If we go to details, let's turn off clean and just allow tainted for a moment. Close that. Poke through here real quick. We'll just make five. Then we'll add another one. Whoops. Disassemble. Go to details. Allow clean and tainted, but we will make it 
awful to poor, or anything below half hit points. So anything that's below half quality will go away. Um, close that. And there we go. Yay. All right. Oh boy, here comes here comes the big load. Okay, Ray Wolfen, what can you do for us? Well, let's just set these for what they should be. One, one. One, one. We don't do that yet. We could use... Ooh, he's a good cook. Two cooks. Lovey, construct mine. Grow art. I'm going to drop this to two. Take her off these for now. I'm going to get rid of all the stinky people for the moment. As in the ones that are totally trash at that job. Just we needed more workload, less workers to do it. Yes. I have no art queued, so Lovey won't be using that. Gotta get more research cranked out. We have not gotten one project done that I'm aware of on research. Oh, he's good at tailoring. He's good at smithing. Yes, you will be doing that. And that. Holy crap, he's a great hunter. Or great fisher. Good at hunting too, but let's go with fishing. We'll leave it at priority three. Actually, we'll take down four when he has absolutely nothing better to do. He can go fishing. Okay. All right. Lovey needs to work on the actually Ray Wolfen. And Lovey could... I'm almost tempted to get a, another smoke uh, house going here. What's his problem? Wet, slept on ground, slept cold, minor pain, darkness. The darkness. Um, okay. He'll be better in the morning. I maybe I'll give him a fizzy soda, and that'll cheer him up just a little bit. Yes. Let's find out how much. Did that just lower his mood? Uh, I swear that just made him more unhappy. Wait, Professor? Okay, kind of counts as food. I'm going to forbid that for now and use it, hopefully, to get people into a better mood. It didn't look like it did anything for him, though. These guys really need more recreation. They need something else. We could do this. We could make it out of marble. 70 blocks. Hermagird. We should put this in a comfortable area. Like right here. And make a stool or two. Okay. Crap. <laughs> As in to say, we're shy on wood, we're shy on blocks, and I don't know if we're going to get more wood if it's permanent winter. I don't know if anything's ever going to grow, <sighs> except for things we grow ourselves. 
in either hydroponics or some other way. We're going to have to grow with hydroponics, which means redundant power systems. And batteries, which I think I'm trying to research, but nobody ever does no research. I think it's because this room is terrible and they don't want to be there. What's the temperature in there? 30, 20, 30? We're in a cold snap right now, if I remember correctly. Okay, we know about him. I'm going to go look at this ancient danger one more time and print it into my brain. Don't mess with that. Get that cleared. All right. Now, Gilligan. Uh, who was my other crafter? Let's find out. There we go. What's he doing? He's looking at the water. We'll give him a moment to chill out. Now, cut stone. These bears make me nervous. What'd we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? Is it beans? Go again. Go get beans. Skipper, go get the beans. And then I think the Professor can haul, right? Yes. And Marianne. Yes. Go forth. Those bears in this valley are going to be a problem. Potential meat sources there. Not that we need more meat, but yeah. I need to get some light in this room. And Howell, you need to listen to the radio. This one is not copyrighted. Some of this music's copyrighted. I complained about that last episode, too. I got a strike for it. I was like, hey, hey, hey. No. Okay, the temperature in this room is awful, and this whole room is awful. It needs to be subdivided, heated, taken care of. We really need electricity. But there's no way I'm going to build an electrical system without batteries, because we'll lose a lot in efficiency. He needs to just go to bed. Okay, he's going to keep on working, I guess. Yes, bring in the beans. Now, I think we can do something with those. As in, we could do veggies. Or tacos. Here, you know what? Let's forbid the beans for now. They'll keep. It's very cold. And how many of these has he knocked out so far? Just a few. I'm going to take this back down to 10. That's 100 units. Ray Wolf is just not a happy guy, man. And he gets to share a room with the movie star, so that should make him happy. Um, I'm going to bother Gilligan real quick and have him clean up this area. Sorry, Gilligan. He always gets the short end of the stick. It was true in the show, and it's true in this in this simulation here. <laughs> Good enough. Well, that's a problem.
I guess this is about the best time to actually go get stuff. The Mad Squirrel is out in like the quote unquote real world, so if I just hit disallow, he'll hang outside there for a while, and maybe we should go grab some more of this rock. Just get some inside, so that way it's handy, and perhaps these guys will get something done, because uh, we really need bricks. <laughs> and wood. Really need wood, too. We're going to start running out of wood. Hurry up, you guys. I want to get out of there before the bears wake up. Where are they taking them? Oh, okay. I haven't configured this for marble. But close enough. That, by the way, is a cheap extra defense. Uh-oh. Anderson thinks they were going to break out. Skipper? Ginger. She couldn't have chosen a better time. Everybody's armed to the teeth and ready to go. So I'm going to put him here. Him here. And we'll have uh, Ginger try and take care of business. How'd she get the door open so fast? Clobber. Want to take her alive? Him? Her? Okay. There it is. Ginger, I need you to capture Anderson. We have no medical supplies, so we're going to have to do something about that. Definitely. The professor is one of our best doctors, so before he lays down, I'm going to have him. Take care, Anderson. Then I'm going to wake up Gilligan. I'm going to have to clean up this room because this is kind of the recreation room because it's the only warm room in the place. I maybe could move this campfire into here and get a little bit more efficiency out of it. People would be able to hang out more comfortably. And I'm going to keep Gilligan busy cleaning for the moment, because the house is nasty. It's because this is dirt, and that's all there is to it. Can't really do a lot about it. Aha! Uh, let's see, how many do we think we got down there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just estimate six and go three and three. There we go. Yes, Ginger. Gilgan, once you relax for a minute. Oh, the professor really needs to, yeah, lay down. Uh oh, hang on. Claire, turn that off. We don't need that for now. Okay, who's our doctor? Who's our other doctor? Skipper. Skipper. Oh yeah, how's our new guy a doctor? Not at all. Skipper, gonna need to take care of the professor. He's got a few bruises. Now, since we recaptured this person, do I need to recheck this? Nope. I think we got most of the beans, if not all of them. We sent out enough people. Yeah, cool. I need wood. Wood's going to be the big thing that we need. Hopefully this bulk trader will have some. We're going to have to buy wood. Let's see, right now it's kind of safe out here. No spiders, no carnivores, so let's do a little bit of chopping. There's that crazy squirrel out here somewhere. Go out a little bit further and we can go get this one.
Where is that crazed squirrel? I would wonder. Send the skipper out to go look for it, shall we? There's a warg out here that's kind of crappy. I guess I'll just keep Skipper with Marianne for a moment. Not entirely certain where she's going. Okay, she's going to do some wood. Great. Let's have this turned off and let's have him do the same thing here. Safety in numbers. And let's have Gilligan come and start grabbing this stuff. And I think I'll keep the Skipper out here and have him do that. On these teeming with life maps, with uh, the amount of mods that I've got, you really have to be very careful when you go outside. Who is it? As long as it's not one of our workers. Okay, Ray Wolfen is just... Not a happy guy. What's his problem? Unsightly environment. He doesn't like the dark. I don't think any of them like the dark. It's still... What do you mean, cold, slept in the cold, dude? Oh, it's 50 degrees in here. Okay. Could use a little more heat. Let's check that roof. Make sure the roof is intact. Yes. Okay. Why is it unroof 211? Is that like the number of squares or something? Anyway, 20 degrees outside. Only 50 in here. Is this thing running? Yes. I guess it's just really freaking cold in here. Okay, so let's try this then. We have a few marble blocks here, so let's go with the structure. Marble blocks. We're going to door off. Uh, I was going to try and get rid of... It's pretty much a uniform 57 all the way around. Hmm. We could put another hearth in there. Hearth? Hearth? Boy, I would really like to get electricity. Just ammo, what up? This world is not at all going well. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it's not. It's based on the old uh, television show Gilligan's Island. I grabbed the archetypes of the seven castaways and went to it. And some of them are functional, some of them are dysfunctional. I've got a wide variety of people who will do things and not do things in a wide variety of none of them are particularly skilled in anything and a lot of them just outright stink uh, here you see for yourself the darker ones you know so they've got a wide variety of skills as a matter of fact the guy that we just got done turning as a prisoner is probably the best one we've got the bulk trader came from a different direction than I expected him to. I figured he'd come from the north, like they usually do, but no. It's fine, it's fine. Let's get Lovey out there to deal with this guy. I would really love a raid to happen right about now-ish. Okay, what do we got? Camels. We have a lot of meat we could get rid of. We really, really do. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of all of that. We've had that for a while. How much money has he got? 1,000. Okay. Taters. Chem fuel. Components. I was hoping he has wood.
I have a lot of little things I could sell off. We could make a little bit of money here. Just take out the little fives here and there and the odd numbers. You know, just nick a little bit off the top. Won't show during the inventory reporting. Did I say that out loud? Um, yeah. The components came with the landing. Uh, when I set up the scenario, I think I may have overdone it with the components a little bit. <laughs> Another viewer pointed that out. They were like, wow, a lot of components. They'll go quick. I've got a lot of mods, and those mods use components quickly. So I should burn through them pretty quick. Ooh, that stuff's 10 bucks a pop? Wow. <clears throat> hmm. Not seeing any wood. Coal is squeaky. I don't know what it works with and what it doesn't work with. Damn it. I could sell Anderson the prisoner. <laughs> oh, I was really, really, really hoping for uh, some wood. But I think this is a pretty good trade. Oh, does he have any medicine? Uh, doesn't look like it. Crap, everything we need he doesn't have. I'm going to sell off these awful trousers. And these poor trousers. Good enough. Deal of the century. I did uh, see the mod. It's actually not really multiplayer. You just more or less share a world. You can't be on the same map. Which is horribly disappointing. I was thinking about that. They need to make colony sims like this that allow multiplayer. It's not that difficult. Well, technically it might kind of be difficult, but yeah, what can you do? Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. Trying to get some wood without getting murdered. Because we need it very badly. Uh, no rest for the skipper. Go get the wood. Let me guess. No, he's always pissed off. Nothing I can do about it. Add more heat to this area. I could drop a campfire in there, but oh man, I really don't want to burn no more. Don't want to burn any more wood. Woods, there's not a lot. Oh, did somebody do medical on the professor? I can't remember. Looks like somebody did. Uh, you can raid your friend. Interesting. Yeah, co-oping on a map would be great. Um, yeah, multiplayer room world would be great. That wasn't even my cat. Oh, it just died because it died. Okay. And get rid of that. And where are our raiders? Oh, it's one guy again. Got a rifle, so we'll try and get him in close. Coming from that direction, very interesting. I've been thinking about popping a hole into this ancient danger, just so that when things pass by, animals and people, they'll run afoul of the horrible minions within. Uh, 
All right, I'm not too worried about this guy. He's going to prepare for a while. I think we'll just lure him in with promises of cake and candy. Let's move the professor out of here for now. As a matter of fact, we don't need these beds anymore. And why are they still sleeping in there? Because their bed has been eternally unready. Okay. We'll sort that out later. For now, the professor, you gotta get up, buddy. How hurt are you? I don't think he's very hurt. Yeah, he's fine. We're gonna hold this one open. Hold this one open. Can't turn that off. We'll undraft him because we don't actually, I don't think we're going to need him. He can go lay down, get some rest. Yeah, you should go away. It's extremely cold, you'll end up dying. Ray Wolfen is always ready to freak out. I gotta figure out a way of making that guy happy. A lot of it comes down to better barracks probably do a lot of favors. Crikey, it's always him. I would break out the doobage, but it's not gonna do him any favors. Temporary patch, I gotta figure out how to make him happier. He's never happy. They have a table where they can eat, but they choose not to. Caramba. Let's see, what do we got? Looking into some lighting options here. Need tallow. I can get tallow. We have plenty of meat. I could queue up some. We could definitely use. What do, what do these use? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the OP industrial age lamps. What's all this then? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. All these look fascinating. Um, let's see. I think while I make my decision, I'm going to refresh my drink. Uh, only been going about a half hour, but I'm a bit scratchy today. In any event, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Plus, it'll give me a chance to think, stretch my legs. This is Permadeath. Don't go away. I'll be around.
this is Permadeath, and I'm back. Oh yeah, Just Ammo, I uh, took Magpie and Wafu on a wonderful little adventure. So uh, yeah, he showed back up. 2-Bit, that guy, remember him? It's been a while, you may have to like think about it for a minute, but yeah, you should remember. Anyway, he came out of nowhere, and they did a mini-adventure. Okay, so we have a bunch of components. We should take advantage of them. We also have some steel, and some light would be great. So let's do that. They spend a lot of time right around here, so we'll put it right there. Looks like I already built one. I think I had that when I first spawned. All right, built it? I don't remember building that. Hmm. Okay, as soon as this raider gets going, I got a plan. Ugh. This guy, this guy. Is there anything I can do for you, buddy? I have some food. Why not? Everybody's happy on a full stomach. Yeah, they refuse to use this table. Because it's in the prison barracks, maybe? Probably. He didn't like the food, because it has arachnid meat. Great. So I just made his mood worse. Yeah, thought about that. I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, they're probably not wanting to hang out in the prisoner barracks too often. There he goes. Bye-bye. If you can just stay in the corner, that'd be great, dude. But I know he's going to wander right out here. Oh, he's here. Welcome. Let's get Lovey out of there. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, if Ginger's asleep, we're screwed. We're screwed. It's going to have to be the skipper. And she can't fight. She can't fight. Professor's down. Gilgan can't fight. Howell can't fight. Ray Wolfenstein has gone crazy. The elves are on the other side of the mountain. Okay, well, good luck, Skipper. Oops, wrong character. Where's my action music? Oh, come on, Skipper, you can do this. Oh. Come on, buddy. This guy's in the dark right now, so that's going to make it harder for me to target him. I should probably go back to here. See if we can get him to break cover. No, he's patient. There he comes. Here he comes. Let's get him past his cover. Go, Skipper. Oh, uh, continue to shoot him if you can, buddy. Oh, they restricted melee nowadays. Okay. How am I in melee combat? One would wonder. Good enough. Ouch. Ouch. Which colonist? Oh, okay. Well, obviously. Come on, Skipper. Yes. Is he down? No, he's dead. Knocked him the hell out. All right, Skip. All right, need a new medical bed. I didn't even get any action music out of that. This will work. Good enough.
So I would say it's not going entirely bad for uh, the group. And I'm going to deconstruct that because we don't need it anymore. And if I'm going to have a campfire, I'm going to try and put it into a more useful area. And I need to make the work barracks livable with some flooring maybe would be a good idea. That'll cut down the amount of dirt getting traced into the house. Did we ever pick up the silver we got from that guy? I hope so. Alright. The other thing I've got going on is over queuing, as in I've got just too much workload on everybody. Yeah, actually, I burn my bodies, and then colonists get uh, elaborate graves. Because I got a corpse bonfire, and I use that to burn anything that's not colonist. Told you Ray was going to wander back here. Oh, they left us a gift. What did they give us? Eight components. Thank you. Okay, you know, everybody's saying that they're sick of being in the dark. And we can build. I wonder what these can do. I assume this is just a bigger version. Uh, yeah. Well, let's try a couple of them. Let's try this one there, this one there, and this one here for now. We can always move them later if we want to. Anyway, now if I would quit over queuing everybody, they would probably have more time for research as well. Right now, all my researchers, they've got the skills that I need. Now they go out there. You guys couldn't do that when uh, when the raider was attacking. Damn elves. Just letting it play for a while. Let them get caught up. Looks like we still got three more blocks down there. Oh yeah, speaking of bodies, Marianne, you're gonna have to do me a favor here. Go ahead and take care of that, and then haul him out of here. I should probably get the person in the best mood to do this work, but now ah, what can you do? And then we set this for. Ah, uh, this is a new bonfire, so I have to set the, uh, set it up again. No colonists. Strangers, yes. Aliens, yes. Corpses, reanimated ones. No animals, yes. Monstrous. Ta-da! And we'll set it up for one. Marianne can do that job right now. And Done. No muss, no fuss. <laughs> Before I found the medieval mod in the old days of Rimworld, World, uh, I used to have some pretty horrible bone rooms. Bone rooms, pretty much that's what they were. Ah, Professor's back. Sweet. All right. I think what I did on this colony is I messed up all the priorities. I've gotten off on the wrong foot, literally, and still just kind of stumbling around. So, need to organize it. I need bricks. Lots and lots of bricks, which we've got a decent supply at the moment, but we're going to need a lot more. This is marble, right? Of course not. That's marble. All right. So we need to expand our mining interests. 
I guess I'll let them finish the mine that they're already supposed to be working on. I might end up moving most of the colony down into here. It depends on what we find, how much we get mined out. This room sucks. It's so big and so packed with crap. It would cost a lot to tile it. Mm. And I'm never going to be able to get rid of the swamp. Unless I put piers over it or bridges. So this room is just awful. I think I should move my operations right into here. That's going to be the next leg of mining. Okay, meanwhile, let's slow it down a little bit. Our storage is definitely full. We're going to have to expand that first. So let's, whoops, what did I just do? Aha. Cancel. Oh, he's still wandering around. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Let's get the storage expanded. First thing that's got to happen. That should be enough. It's a horrible mess in there. Let's get Gilligan to clean it up. Marianne's off on a quest. Okay, she's not going far. Don't want your colonists to wander too far on the on these maps. They'll get eaten by something. Okay, that'll produce a few more rock chunks. We can get these hauled out of here. kind of rock are we producing here? Slate. Now we'll see how many chunks we get away with. Limestone. So limestone and slate mix. Great. That'll work. I'm about ready to just queue up make any brick at all. Infinitely. You know what? Time to stop micromanaging this. We're just going to make it any. Not forever. Because they'll end up wandering across the map to go get crap. We'll ditch that, ditch that. Make any stone block. Done. Alright. And we wait, because I love to over -cue. as in give them way too much work. Then I wonder why they don't get anything done, because they're still working on crap that I told them to do days ago. Hal is probably the worst guy to be mining. do like the idea of moving down into here. Oh, uh, I guess those lamps require power. Well, there you go. That makes actual sense. I should have looked at that. Did I just do the wall? I think I did. Edison lamp. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Okay, gas lights for now. So be it. Oh, this colony is a little weird. I will definitely say that. Professor, make sure the skipper's good. He's good. Let's make this not medical. Anderson. I would really like to get that person under control. I think it's time to change around the workloads again. As in, change all the workloads. How much wood we got? 219. Gotta watch that wood supply pretty close. 
Okay, now I've determined that iron is 99% garbage, so we can start making some furniture and walls out of it where needed. Let's do some of that. Iron. Iron. A stool here. A stool here. There's already one there. There's one there. Not quite sure where the workstation is for this yet. There. Okay. There, right? Yeah. How about this one? Right in the center, okay? Uh, relations, they hate us. They hate us. Everybody hates us. Fine. Whatever. Whatever! Meanwhile, the wild fox is still running around the house. That was probably a bad idea. Um, we're going to have to deal with him before he starts getting hungry and attacks somebody. Could try and tame him. Okay, everything's rolling. I'm just going to let it roll. Matter of fact, let's go full cult. As in, nobody in, nobody out. Armed encampment. Speaking of armed encampments, our new guy, Ray Wolfen, has some skills. Hell yeah, he's great at melee. Mm. But we're going to have him shoot for the time being. I'm actually going to make an armory. Something I always mean to do, but never get around to doing. Where I'm going to keep weapons handy in a specific area. Did something just explode? Aha! That's a lot of chunks. There's a bunch more somewhere else on the map. I can't remember where they are. I should make sm uh, smelter very soon. I'm going to try and convert this into a work area by dividing it up so I can tile off sections of it. Depending on what kind of rocks we get. This is a cheap defense that I use. Did that work? No. Delete, 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 delete. There we go. Cheap defense. Slows down the enemy. Doesn't cost you anything. Just put chunks of rock. <laughs> and that way they're handy for the rock carvers when the time comes. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. What's it going to be? Okay, at least these guys aren't invisible. Deep ones, two of them. Let's see how well they get along with the animals. Oh, a brachiosaurus has died. That's so much food. There's those other ship chunks. I knew they were here somewhere. Hmm. I'm going to have to set up a telegraph or something like that in order to get in touch with the colonies because I'm going to have to do trade for wood because we don't have no wood. Okay, these guys are going to have to be dealt with. They are not that tough, especially because we have three shooters now. Did they get all this done? Not even close, buddy. So lovely since you're doing nothing. 
Oh. I'm going to forbid this big boy for now. So that way they'll start butchering some of this. Oh my god, look how much shellfish we have. Let's go here. Let's unsuspend the seafoods. We have a good enough cook now that we could probably pull off some uh, sushis. Bring those up to the top. Because we also have the beans, and I think that'll count as the veggie component for these various things. Okay, let's take this one down. Put the other seafoods. And let's see what happens. Done. All right. Lovey. Go to work. Oh, let me change these bills around. I want this. Basically up at the top. Okay, that should work. Recure one more time. Okay, meanwhile, let's deal with these star beasts. Once they get a little closer. No point in drafting the guys yet. Are they going to move? Are they frozen? There they go. Here they come. Oh boy. We definitely don't need anybody outside, so I guess it's just time to draft up everybody. Run away, Gilligan, run away! Those things are kind of fast, so yeah. Okay. Do I have another rifle, by the way? No. Auto pistol. Actually, let's put him there. Where's Ray Wolfenstein? There he is. And the professor, we're going to have him stay inside for a moment. And he'll get ready to engage at close range if he needs to. And we're going to hold this open. Okay, Ginger, uh, she's passed out, I forgot. She, heavy sleeper, don't wake up. Let's put these guys against the wall for a minute. When the time comes, we're gonna wanna hold that open. I was hoping these things would be a little bit more spread out, but looks like they're gonna come at us as a group. Like I said, they're not horribly tough. Okay, time to go. Oh, Professor. Um, I just need to get, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I just need to get him kind of out of here for the moment and let these two shoot the beast. Hopefully they won't hit the professor. Oh, oh, he's down. Can any of you guys melee attack this guy? Aha, Howell can fight, but he's so slow by the time he gets there, it'll be over told you. Um, 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 skipper. Rescue the professor. We need two med beds. There's one. 
aha, I can actually finally reinstall this. I wonder what quality it is. I guess I should check that. I really don't care. Excellent. Fancy. All right, here's another medical bed. I need to make a medical ward with the medicine nearby, all that other good stuff like that. Oh, Mr. Alex, welcome to the stream. Again, my second monitor is in my blind spot, and that's how it is for the moment. Time to queue up another one of these. Get that thing burned quickly, because even looking at that thing will break people's mo uh, moods completely. Gilligan, you always get the crap jobs. Go to it. Uh, wait. I thought I told this to do monstrous thingies. No colonists, strangers, aliens, dwarves, hobbits, okay, monstrous, yeah, there's, it should, this, this should work. It's definitely not an animal. Okay. Oh, that's why, because I'm dumb. Ha ha! All right. Who did I choose for that terrible job? Oh yeah, go. Of course. Get him out of there. And Marianne, clean up the mess. Because even the mess will cause people to get into a bad mood. The D&D books. Uh, actually, they're scattered out across the floor right now because I was reorganizing them again. Uh, I'm just going to refuse visitors until we get an area that is suitable for them. Okay, Marianne, got another job for you. Haul the auto pistol. Alright, how much wood we got? About the same. We can use all the iron. This room is just terrible. I really want to break this room up. What do we find down here? Not a whole lot. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and expand operations into this area. So we're going to go another 10 in. And I'm going to start making some little rooms here. And each little room will have its own designated uh, duty. I guess the best way of putting it. Its own form and function. <laughs> now, me and Just Ammo were talking about tombs and all that. I need to find a suitable place for colonist graveyard. I really want to get into this mountain too and just mine the hell out of it. And that's what I'm going to do, but I need a new drink, so I'm going to have to take another break. So hang tight, and I will be back shortly.
This is permadeath. I'm half back, and I do apologize. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> and I'm gone again. Okay, and now I'm back again. Okay, so, let's see, where are we now? A total mess. I have no plan or strategy. I've just been kind of playing on a whim. And now we're going to need a strategy. So, bricks. We finally have some. Got plenty of resources. Time to start getting stuff organized. We need a kitchen. That's a pretty big kitchen. And we want to use off numbers so that way we can center the entrance. That's pretty good. Then we need a refrigerator. This will leave us a little vulnerable to attack from the back end here, but we'll just put some walls over here and that'll be fine. And we need to be able to run the eventual heater cooler. So this will be the entrance, that'll be the heater cooler, or vice versa, who knows. Actually, probably entrance down here, heater here, so it'll heat this room better. We'll come in through there. Of course, I'm going to completely forget what all this crap is when the time comes. Uh, so yeah, that'll be fun. 
labels. Labels would be a good thing. Alright. So that's our kitchen. Then we're going to need a general hanging out room. Okay, now wait a sec here. The fools won't use a table unless it's like right nearby the food. Okay, so what we're going to do is expand this a little bit. That'll give us room for a table. And we could expand this even again. We'll change this when the time comes. And we'll have outside so that way I can turn off the uh, air conditioner during the winter, and we can just open a vent and use the outside to keep it cool. That should work pretty good. We'll want the entrance down here somewhere, so that way the people can come get the food and sit at a table that'll be arranged here. And I might divide this into prepared food and not prepared food, so people don't have to go in and, you know, look at dead animals for breakfast, right before breakfast. Okay, so a workroom. Again, I don't mind entire, usually I'm going to try and break my patterns here. So I'm going to try and do separate, distinct work rooms with specific purposes. So the stone cutter room. Two long tables and storage is what they're going to need. It's probably way too big, but one table, two tables, plus storage. It's probably way too big. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Because I'm just going to replicate this. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be a workroom of some nature. They need a social room. Well, we can still use these rooms, of course. And I'm going to trim them up a little bit so they're a little bit more square and useful. But I think this is going to be our new home. So for now, let's cancel this out. We'll come back to mining that later. And let's get our new kitchen built, because that will be nice to have. Splendid. All right. And that'll give us plenty of chunks for making some more bricks. I am in permanent winter, yes. I think that's a byproduct of being in a boreal uh, zone. Because every time I've done boreal, it seems to show permanent winter. Uh-oh. What's his problem? Severe illness. What's wrong with the professor? Nobody ever tended to him. Crappy, crappy skipper. Uh, we're going to have to break out actual medicine. The little bit that we have. Such, such as it is. And Gilligan, get in here and clean up the mess before he gets an infection. Hopefully the skipper brought the medicine with him on his way through. I need to make a medical ward. Definitely going to take care of that too. I thought Boreal had summer, but it does say permanent winter and I did not set that. It's not, it wasn't a world setting. Gilligan, sorry, got to wake you up, buddy. Is there any more? Yep, I knew it. Get in there, clean that up. And, uh, Skipper, why don't you make sure that, yep, I knew it, damn it. Now we turn off the medicine. I'm gonna allow one bag of beans here for cooking purposes.
Hmm. Dum dum dum. And Professor, he can't walk, so we're just gonna make that into a medical bed. And we'll make this one not medical bed. Oh good. Who's getting females? Great. It seems as if people's moods have lightened a little bit since installing a few of the lights. I'm going to wake Gilligan up and have him clean up some of this mess. And then I'm going to reprioritize everybody's work schedules. After eliminating home zones that we don't want, such as all of this. Oh, thank you. I thought I already took care of that, but oh, well, well, I guess I did. What else don't we want as home area? None of that. Good enough. And ah, I guess I'll bring this back. Whoops. Just so they'll keep it clean. Good enough. Speaking of clean, time to do the work thing. Actually, I'm going to wait till the pro's up. When Professor's up, we'll work on it. Of course. Skipper, you are the worst doctor ever. Let's make some iron stools. I can just build a copy. Let's slate. Iron, copy. I'm not sure which way that board faces. Probably should close these doors. And let them catch up to everything that I've kind of given them to do. Yeah, I think boreal forests are permanent winter, a lot like uh, ice pack or tundra. Which stinks because growing trees is going to be very difficult. <laughs> Let's do one more of those and we'll get Marianne to take care of it. Oh, looks like she's already got it under control. I'm just going to have her immediately go to incinerating. Oh, and I hate having to carry it through the house. Yeah, when people see that thing, they just freak out because it's an unearthly horrid monster. Professor's eating raw shellfish. Great. He's not even supposed to be up. And Ginger's in a medical bed. Oh, she needs to be there. Because she's suffering from her anxiety. Normally the professor takes care of her when that happens. Skipper's the worst guy ever. But let's see what he can accomplish. I think I have his doctoring at a very low... Yeah, one or the other. Um, but yeah, Boreal Forest, I'm not sure if it has a summer pattern anymore. They definitely changed around quite a few of the mechanics of the game. Let's see, where are we? Uh, 
I haven't had a look at the plan in a while. Yeah, a little far, a little far south there. Just about as far south as we could get. Okay. Either way, gonna have to compensate for it if I can. You know, like a challenging scenario. And a couple more flash storms. And this will become stupid challenging as there will be no wood left. Right now the situation is not that dire. Did something already eat him? Or did I already retrieve him? I must have already grabbed the other Brachiosaurus that died. Okay, we need to get him actually butchered up here real soon. Let's do that on the next morning. Again, I gotta stop over-queuing and just sit on my hands, so to speak. And let him get some work done. We have a lot of bricks now. That's good, good, good. Now, what am I going to do with this heart area? I just don't know. This will give us a mountain of meat. All right, now we need to get Ray Wolfen, who's a great cook. Cannot cook the scampi. Doesn't look like he can cook any of the other stuff either. Is any sort of fish meat? Rice vegetables, okay. We'll start doing some official fishing here soon. Right now we just have these traps up. We could build a pier out here somewhere and do some fishing. I'd like to make the pier safe. But we need advanced bridge building to do that. Oh, I know what we can do. Make a fishing tunnel. That'll work perfect. See what horrible ancient evils we find in there. And for the moment, I'm going to cut this off so they don't work on it yet, because I want them to finish this. Because I'm liking the idea of a new kitchen. Then I also want a new workroom. This is definitely going to be oversized. The tables take... And then plenty of rock storage. I think I'm going to leave that one the way it is. That'll be our stone carver room. Then we'll need a blacksmith R. And uh, smithy shop should be useful, and a tailor. I originally wanted, I so badly want to make a village where every person has their own home and shop. Um, I should set up a colony for that. Tried to do it with some hobbits recently. But instead of having uh, individual little hobbit holes, I ended up having more of like a hobbit ant hill, where they were all living in one hill, subdivided into little rooms. Seems to work. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Professor? Super hungry. We'll get the skipper to come feed you.
and we'll get Gilligan to come and clean up the room. That should help a bit. And yes, I gotta get more clothing made, because everybody's clothes are starting to fall apart. I still need to move around everybody's work priorities, but at the moment I'm just gonna leave it be, and I'm gonna lock everybody in. Everybody is in, right? Looks like it. That way, they'll end up getting everything like kind of cleaned up, tidied up, get the last of this mining out of the way. Oh, Gilgan actually had a good meal. I don't know what that was. Holy crap, our storage is so full. But that'll change, because I'm going to move all the food down here shortly. So, we'll just deal with it for now. Oh, we're getting some research done. Just stay right there, Mr. Howell. Don't move. I think I was researching batteries. I can't remember anymore. It's been so long. Oh, so close. Batteries. Yeah, once I get batteries, then we can upgrade, get some power going, and that'll be great. I like running colonies with no power. Okay, let's put up a couple of support poles here. Hmm. Let's go with iron, because it's most easily available. Support poles to keep the roof from falling in, because I'm going to do a little modification here. That should do. Uh-oh. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up for mining. Now, what area do we reveal? Well, that was probably the smallest area I've ever seen. Yes. Okay, we'll hit the research screen here in just a second. Okay, we've got batteries now. That changes everything. So we're going to need power plant. We're going to need direct access from the apartments to the work areas. So I'm thinking we might... Here and here? Is that the center-ish? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, it is. Oh, that's right. I need to change this. Owners, 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 owners. Skipper. Skipper. And Marianne. Then I can get them out of this crappy bed. And finally, they have furniture. Which was probably something I should have done way, way earlier. Alright, pardon me for a moment. I've been uh, having some ongoing tooth issues. And it's about time to eat some ibuprofen. Okay, so let's see. This fox has been around us for so long. Okay, you know who can do something about that? He is good with animals, if I remember correctly. 12. Our closest, I think, is Marianne with 10. So I'm going to have him... Him and Marianne, I'm going to put on handling. First priority. And we're going to tame this fox. Why? I don't know. Because... Really can't wait for this to get done. As a matter of fact, just because I know they're going to end up working on this first, because that's what they always do. I'm going to have him finish it off, because we really need this open. Oh. 
And I needed to mine out this and this. That's why I put those supports in, by the way. Who I'm going to have Gilligan get to work on those right now. Whoops. Whoops. I'm going to have Gilligan get on those right now. Go. Poor Gilligan. He's always getting woken up. Sent off to do the crappy jobs. Um, let's have you finish up that. Before you go running off. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now honestly, how big are these? One, two, three, four squares? One, two, three squares. One, two, three. Space, one, two, three. This room definitely doesn't have to be this big. Doubt that one will have to be that big either. How big are these, by the way? Five by seven. We'll just stick with that for now. It's already taking him forever to get this done. All right, what kind of walls we got? Let's go with slate. Slate, 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 slate. Skipped right by it. And our wall was here, right? Yes. With an entrance there. Okay, once we get a few of those built, we can deconstruct these. More chunks of spacecraft. Most excellent. That's Brachiosaurus's. Matter of fact, it's about time to check the map and see what we got going on over here. We have an unconscious spider who clearly picked a fight with a grizzly bear and didn't survive it. We have a bear down. We have a grizzly bear in the cocoon. So we're going for a midnight raid, meaning we're going to go get this grizzly bear. And one of these two is probably going to pass out. Oh crap, we actually cooked a hundred beef jerky. And it's laying all over the floor. Nice. Okay, let's forbid that one. Looking for stacks of 10. Yes, I know those are, but we want to probably get those somewhere. I'm going to forbid these for now. Let them sit in the dirt. They'll be fine. getting warmer in here so that'll keep people happy this thing has infinite fuel they even tell you in the medieval mod that the stone hearth is OP because it does everything it cooks it provides comfort it provides light it's it's all of it but they do point out that in the medieval ages the hearth was the heart of the home and still is in many ways The stove used to be kind of the center of the house. Everything happened there. Well, 
Well, at least they like the swamp gazing spot. That's comforting. Oh, it's done. Okay, we can get all that hauled out. We can get all that hauled out. And let's tile it in marble. More floors. Let's go with what would look good in the kitchen eating area. Let's go with random paving. Forgot what kind of rock we got. Marble. Random paving. Marble, 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 marble. Marble. Four per, huh? Oof. Alright, but it'll look good. That'll make people happy. And we'll carry it out to there. And to there. And we're going to need some doors. Let's go with, what is this? Limestone. Go with limestone doors. And we're going to want to knock this out. And we could probably move this zone very quickly. Well, I have to make a new zone anyway, so it doesn't matter. Zone. Clear all. We won't allow rot it. It'll be. I'll divide this up later if I so. I decide that's what I gotta do. Um, no strangers, just colonists, just foods. I don't know if that stuff goes bad, so I'm gonna keep that out for now. I don't think any of this other stuff, just food. Raw foods, yes. And then this one we turn off. Ay, caramba. Arg, arg. No foods. Okay, they should start moving that stuff out. Getting the tiling done. It'll take them eight years to move all that crap back and forth. I've got them locked in so they can't go wandering outside. They're just going to have to deal with it. And let them do some work and get caught up to a lot of the queue that I've created here. So who's still here? Are you still here, Ammo? Alex? Making the comment, yeah. Been uh, taking a few breaks, but eh, it's kind of a relaxed stream. Yesterday I did like a four-hour stream, so if you missed that episode, it's there. Commentary is a little dry. There's a few parts where it was like, you know, I'm just kind of talking to myself. I'll just save my talking until somebody comes along. Monday afternoon, not a good time to stream. So yes, Wafu and Magpie had a wonderful little adventure. You should have them tell you the tale. Or wait until the story comes out in a couple of weeks, because I'm writing it right now. It'll be the first of the uh, Skyfell short stories that I'm making for a compilation. I should cover quite a few of the adventures that way. For once, I'm being patient. Usually I queue up, you know, 85 things. What I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this to here. And this. I should move the butcher table right into... Oh, we need this real quick before we end up getting some kind of monster in here. Oops, event. That's it. How old do you build? Yes, you do, but looks like somebody else has it under control, so we'll let them work on it. I'm 
I'm really tempted to put the butcher table right in here. And I'd like to separate the raw meat out from the cooked foods because raw meat's ugly. People don't like looking at it. Uh, animal corpses are equally ugly. People don't like looking at it either. Oh, and I gotta get more jerky meat. Or transported. Let's get all this stuff transported. Skipper. Move the jerky. How old do you you don't transfer stuff? Lovey doesn't either. Marianne. Haul the meat. Ray. Haul the meat. Oh, I got my armor done. I queued up some armor for the uh Melee fighters. Is that it? Steel plate? Poor? Ooh. Guess who gets to wear that? Ginger, when the time comes. I'm going to set up an armory. I really am. Is that... That's planning. It's an artifact from my planning. Oh, there's another one. Okay, our new kitchen is going to be great. Let's reinstall this in our kitchen. And let's bring this down. And let's bring the meat station. Let's see. Just far enough to where they can chat with each other. here right yeah all right and the butcher table I do like the idea of putting it back in here so let's expand this another five because we could start storing animal bodies back in there eventually oh you know what also would be good a roof Yes, roof good. So I've heard. Oh, some gold. Very nice. So things aren't going horrible for our seven castaways, but my lack of plan is definitely starting to show. It's kind of all over the place. But now that the basics are under control, I should be able to just kind of get it a little bit more organized. Gonna have to get those... Anderson, Anderson, why are you sleeping on the floor? Oh, Anderson still hasn't been converted. No resistance left. Time to recruit them. Okay, now, did I lose all the bills? Oh, the bills transferred with it. Ah, that, that's awesome. Haven't prepared anything, but... Hmm. I'm going to unsuspend the kebabs. Just because it's food on demand. Now, our table. Let's grab that table. Reinstall it closer to where the food is. And the chairs here and here. That is the kitchen, right? I got everything kitchen. No, we install. Hmm. Don't want them to feel packed in. But I also don't want to pack the room. That's too packed in. Right about there, maybe? Let's do that. And then we'll move this, the lamp, down to here. 
or up one. Nah, let's go down. Take the stool. Where is the workstation? In the center. Reinstall it. There, and we're good to go. There's our new kitchen. The only good looking room in the place other than this. Which we'll get that sorted out. Ah, let's do it now. And what kind of wall are we going to put there? Slate wall? Probably. Probably. Won't match that great, but uh, what can I do? I can worry. I can worry about the aesthetics later. Okay. Now, if these guys are going to end up wandering around out back, a fenced area might not be such a bad idea. Keep the dinosaurs off of them. Wow. Yeah, I definitely have to do a raid in the night when everything is asleep and grab as much food out of there as we can. Thinking about a nature preserve, <laughs> building a fence, like out here somewhere, to kind of make all of this ours for the time being, might be an idea. But that idea is going to have to wait because, again, I gotta take a few breaks today. Got the tooth thing going on, so I have to keep getting new drinks. Because cold is the only thing that makes feel better. So, this is Permadeath. Stay tuned. Um, we should be getting some resemblance of a plan going here, now that the basics are taken care of. So yes, I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
This is permadeath and I'm back. So let's see. First off, we have batteries now, so we need power plant. It's gotta be centralized. I think I'm gonna put it in here because this room is quickly becoming obsolete. I think this should be the research room because it's the classiest room we got. It's made out of steel. Yeah, definitely. Let's reinstall this. Let's see. We'll go ahead and keep the entrance as is. Actually, wait a minute. I want to keep everybody kind of together, not wandering far and wide. Tell you what, let's just let this run for a minute. Don't care. Tornado generator. Aha! Anderson has finally joined the community. We don't need that. We don't need that. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Work. Anderson. Uh, you any good at that? Hey, you're not bad. Uh, we'll put you at one, why not? That way we can harass people constantly when they're our prisoner. And not bad at negotiations. We'll keep that at three. Crappy at just about everything else. Eh. Put it at three. We'll come back to that later. Actually, we'll put that at two. Eh, three, good. Three, good. That way, they'll pick up some of the slack. Once these guys are done, build in some new slate walls here. Like so, and we're good to go. Is this? That's iron. Okay, yeah. A lot of iron walls here, I'm noticing. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, no. The two old people had a discussion about fate. That's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. And they broke up. Howell asked Lovey for some space. Well, they've been stranded out there a while. Just occurred to me. <laughs> um, okay. Well, then I'm going to make this... Uh, I'm going to hold off on that. And we're going to move his bed into here. And we're going to move this medical bed. I guess here, this will be our impromptu medical ward for the time being. Professor Ginger. I need more beds. Who's going to... Howell and Lovey are in bad moods. Howell particularly. You're the one who did the breaking up, fool. Have a soda. Have an A&W Blueberry Soda. Everybody's gonna freak out. Okay, let's build some normal beds. Build copy, 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 copy. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. What are they made out of? Slate? Man, we just never have enough bricks. We'll use iron. Iron. Yes, finish building that. Uh oh. Oh no! What the hell? <laughs> um, okay. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, well, uh, okay, it's a bad, bad time to be in a relationship. I guess in the old colony this uh, this time. Okay, I'm really tempted to break this into two storages, so to speak. One for treated food, and one for raw food. However, the way that I've kind of made the room, it's going to be derpy. And derpy it shall be. Alright, we still have a bit of iron. It's five per, right? Yeah. And we're gonna expand this a little bit. And gonna put a vent in here as well. No, we'll put a vent here. Inside. So that way we don't have too many holes in our defenses. That should work. Like I said, it'll be derpy. But what this will do for us, that's a limestone door. We can afford that. Let's make another one here. What this will do for us is we can put the butcher table in here. Which actually, if I'm smart, what I could do is butcher table's three, right? Yep. And then a seating place. That should, that should work. Get this stuff hauled out of here. And then we will eliminate this zone. Oh, oh, whoops. Okay, hold on a sec here. Copy those settings. Paste. Oh, I hope they get this dug out tonight. That would be, uh oh. Okay. Well, looks like the fresh meat storage just got a lot bigger. Suddenly. Alrighty then. Okay, that was a bit unforeseen. Let's go ahead and mine this out. Mine this out, and I'm going to seal this up with iron. Ooh, steel. <coughs> Excuse me. Iron wall. Here and here. Would Gilgan take care of that? Uh oh. We're out of iron? I guess I did use it all, huh? I know where to get more. Start digging that yet. Okay, cancel that out. We do have slate, so we'll just go with slate. Just want to seal that off for now. Then we can grab our butcher table. Install there, and then rebuild our zone. This will be foods, raw food only. So let's uh, clear this. No rotted, raw food, raw meats, crabs, crayfish, lobsters, not pemmican. Shrimp, snails, strange shit. This one will just be meals. That's it. No rocket. Sweet. 
it'll make cooking a little bit more of a pain in the ass because I'll have to pass through a bunch of different doors. Uh-oh, why is Lovey crashed out in the freezer? Let's re- uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? I am short on moves. Where's Gilgan? We'll get him to do that real fast. We'll turn this into a not medical bed for the moment. That should give everybody a, jet or a place to rest now. So she can wake up and go to bed. Alright, butcher table had a stool, didn't it? There it is. Let's reinstall that. Okay. Oh. I forgot to go on the midnight raid for food. Crap. Okay, this guy... We're definitely going to train him for obedience. Release, rescue, haul, all of it. Okay, it's time to make some, an animal pen. Nah, eh, not really. Animals. Area 1 doesn't really exist yet. My home area is very chaotic. Yeah, we'll just keep him unrestricted for the moment. And I gotta change my zones. All that extra space for some reason bugs me, I don't know why even though it's in walls and I know they can't reach it. It still bugs me. I don't care about anything outside. Um, yeah, I don't care about anything above there. Really don't care about any of that. Definitely don't care about any of that. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> I won't micromanage it to that level. Don't really care about that. Or any of that. Or any of this. For the time being. Or any of this, actually, to be honest. That's got to go. All this has got to go. All the outside stuff. Good enough. What's the professor doing? Can I get you to... Okay, Gilligan's on it. Just gonna let them do their thing. Are we out of areas to store chunks already? Yes, we are. Let's make this everything. Every kind of chunk. And that way that'll get the other ones out of there. Corpses? What? Just chunks. You're supposed to be just chunks. All of them. Uh-oh. Everybody just hit the soda. Oh, well. Oh, the beans. I need to get them transferred. Let's have Howl. Oh, he doesn't. He don't do that. All the beans. Marianne. All the beans. 
Let's get those down where they belong. Oh, there's a bunch of fish here that needs to be hauled to. Allow that. Okay, time to move this. I thought that was supposed to be re Okay, it is. Ray Wolf. Okay, they're working. I just need to quit being impatient. Let them work for a minute. Just be here and put out some fires. So let me go into fire putting outing mode. Meaning just sit here for a minute. Enjoy the game. Watch the guys get their work done. Some more tiles would be great. So that means some more stones would be great. Let me queue up some more of these. Pretty confident we got 20 blocks laying around. So let's do that. And you guys go. We need an artisan table and all that as well. I can get rid of these. We'll made it, make a dedicated prisoner barracks here soon. Electricity. Time for electricity. What is this again? Oh yeah, blacksmithing. Is anybody going to do this job? Gilligan, what are you doing? You're talking to yourself. Sounds like a perfect time. Oh, Ray Wolf is supposed to be doing that. Yeah, do that now. Turn off the jerky. We don't want to eat it yet. At least the full stacks. Because that's our emergency food. They've got shish kebabs. Which no longer are made of insects, thank goodness. But that'll change soon because there's a giant spider out there waiting for us. Okay, what's your problem? It's Wolfenstein again. It? Ray Wolfen. Tattered pair. Sutton and cold. Stuck indoors. Okay, I can fix that. Bam. Needs. I need to get some art going as well, because I've got to up beautify the place, otherwise people are going to get mad. There, are you happy? There, you're good. Oh, those landed. Let's find out what that's all about. What do we got? What do we got? Gloves? <laughs> oh, I can see it now. The desperate survivors look skyward. The redemption coming down in cargo pods. It's a bunch of freaking gloves. It's alright. We need some gloves. It's cold. Gilligan is busy. Skipper, go get the gloves. Howl, you're pretty slow. You don't haul things. I forgot. She doesn't move things. He does. And I think Anderson does. I th think that's all of them, right? Not sure. Should be pretty close to all of them. Oh, looks like everybody come get some gloves. Excellent. Those are going to storage, which again, our storage is really close to breaking still because we got a lot of stuff. Hmm. Let's expand the storage again. Don't want to go beyond that, though. Then I'm going to figure out another solution. And it's time to open up this so we can get some fishing done. Power plant and electricity. It's about that time. So let's go with
gramophone needs to be moved. We need a social room really, really, really badly. I'm going to uninstall it for now and see where they gravitate to. Our power plant will go here nicely. Let's get this out of here. Let's reinstall this. For now, we'll just crunch it into this room. Same with this. And this. <laughs> there we go, good enough. And move this. Right here, right? Yeah, I think. That'll clear this room, so then we can start putting the power plants in here. And research. Time to do new research. Ooh, water mill could be useful. Solar panel could be useful. I should pause the game while I make this decision. Hydroponics could be useful. But I really would like to have two kinds of power, at least. Generator plus solar or wind. Oh, wind I can do right now. But I had determined wind was not going to do us a lot of favors. I guess it could. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking this over. Let's go get some of this stuff. Do we really need a giant spider to eat? Yes, yes we do. Grey Wolfen, you need to go get this uh, dough. And... Open. Open. That'll be a job for Marianne. And the Professor. And I'm gonna send the Skipper and Gilligan out there just because. Yeah, Ginger's the only treatment she needs for stress. It can wait. She'll be okay. She's probably sleeping anyway. Isn't it nighttime? Ish? Actually, it looks like it's morning. Shows how much I'm paying attention. Oh, crap. I never armed Anderson. Not good. He's already shooting. Is the professor out here? Yeah. He doesn't have his pistol. Great. Marianne, you gotta run. Uh, run upwards. Might as well. Professor, might as well. Ray, you better move in close. As should the skipper. Ray's shooting. Don't kill anybody. Perfect. Okay, Marianne is hurt, but still up, so I will have her carry on. Actually, hold on, hold on. Okay, Ray, 
draft you. Melee attack this guy. Okay, Marianne, need you to go out here. Take over that, because Howell will take all day to get out there. Okay, Gilligan. Let's get him undrafted to start with. Yeah, that's done. That's done, okay. Gilligan, I want you to haul this spider. Actually, Anderson's got it. There we go. That'll work. Okay, where'd Anderson go? I thought he was picking something up. So confused. Okay. Oh, skipper. All that. We'll take it. Oh, what a way to do hunting. Let the animals do all the work. Didn't I just undraft you? Ray? Okay, I had it backwards. Whatever. Alright, so. Now we got a bunch more food. Oops, bodies are still being stored in here. Let's not do that. Um, let's get rid of animals. And move animal corpses to here. Yeah, all of them. Hmm. Guess maybe I should have left this open after all, because it's going to have to end up being an extension of this. So, we'll do that. How many kebabs we got? Eight. We need to get some fishing going, for sure. Oh, and we don't have a medical ward anymore. Technically. Marianne, your bed goes medical. Yes, rest till healed, Skipper. Your bed goes medical. And rest until healed, yes. Perfect. Whoa, wait a minute, it's negative. Oh, it's 40 degrees, man, it's super cold. That's okay, power plant. Uh, I wish I had some coal. We haven't found any yet, have we? No. Wood. Wood fired. Yeah, we can always do something different if we find some coal. And here's a good place as any. Some batteries on separate switches. Oh, I don't want to put a switch right in front of the door. Let's do that instead. Like so, then we can build a couple of different circuits if we need to. 
All right, what else is going to take? We're going to need some switches. Switch, 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 switch. And some conduit. Okay, that should allow me to put everything onto a separate circuit as needed. And the first place we're going to need power is the barracks, because we're, uh, well, we need, where do we need heat the most? Around here, probably. We'll figure all that out later. Let's get the thing in place and get the batteries charging. I generally like to charge the batteries, get them all charged up, and then uh, isolate them. So that way if there's some kind of catastrophe, I can fall back on one of numerous batteries. Okay, now that this is done, we can go to the architect zone. Stockpile. Like so. Ta-da! Alright. Now we can store all the raw meats, or raw foods in there, where people don't have to look at them. The prepared foods here. Hopefully, they'll walk to that far to sit at the table. Ooh, it's a long walk for the cooks, though. And let's put a roof in. Forgot about that. I always forget about roofs. That'll work. And that'll work. And here. Like so. Not that. Well, eventually we'll be putting a break here, so. Is it made of steel? Not anytime real soon. Not gonna waste the steel. And we can haul this out of here. All of our rock storages are full. That'll change. Professor just ate like raw meat, I think. Yeah, we need more rock storage. We need time to make the rock warehouse, the brick warehouse. Did they ever. Crap. Soon, I want him to finish this first. Oh, and earlier I think I totally destroyed the Catullian. Didn't I have a monolith here at one time? Or was it a tree? Can't remember, but I think it got destroyed, so I'm just going to drop myself a monolith. When the time comes, I'll be cheating one in, because I noticed I have the debug menu open. So, alright, since we have it, we'll use it. And since I think it was a tree, and I think it got chopped down, it was out here somewhere. I'd have to check the prior episodes. Oh, look at all that food. Food and clothes, that's all I see here. No path. Lies. Why is it lies? Because I shall make path. Skipper. Professor. Okay, it's a little bit of a walk, but it's pretty late at night. They should be safe. Ish. We desperately need more wood. We're out of wood. Chop that. Chop that. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, chop that. I can carry out a little bit further on our wood expeditions. It's not horribly dangerous here in the Hidden Valley. Yeah. 
hideous environment. Cramped interior. They're still eating without tables. We need some sculptures. And some planters and some other joy things. Otherwise these people are going to start getting very, very angry. At least they're eating slightly better food. Ah, they are using the table. Yay. Okay. Uh, Skipper doesn't have a bed. We're out of iron. Did they ever finish the passageway? No. Can't really do much until they finish that passageway. Skipper? Skipper. Let me guess. Nobody ever tended to her. How much you want to bet? Since he's up, he can feed her real quick. Oh, and he has some food on him. Perfect. Gilligan? Mine. Chunks. Carry. Getting a pretty good chunk defense here. Hmm. Wasn't really the intention. I want to get the. I want to get that room open soon. But we'll expand this a little bit just for the time being. It'll make it a pain in the ass for our people to get by. But we might as well bring the rocks inside. And this is our next goal. Once they get this damn thing carved out. You know what? I'm going to cancel these. Cancel. 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 Any others? Okay. Yeah, I would rather she carry the stuff in. Uh, and since Skipper's up, let him go carry some stuff too. And since Anderson's up, guess what he's going to do? Okay, I do plan on joining these two corridors. That'll make it a little easier for people to get back and forth. I gotta figure out wood, and hydroponics, and all that other good stuff. Oh, and I forgot to check my next research. Hmm, what do we need? Oof, geothermal power is expensive. Holy crap. A water mill. What's the minus on that? As in, like, what is the penalty for it, I wonder? Does it work in the cold when the water is theoretically frozen? Well, it should. Still got flow underneath. Tree sowing would be great. I'm going to go with solar. Give us a backup, backup power source. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, and dump all the power into one battery at a time. I just need to not forget about them. And finding some coal would be great. Oh, fa! This causes everybody to get irritated. I can't really do much about it. Bam. Maybe keep them inside, but it's too late for all that, for sure. All right. As soon as this passage is done, it should give us quick access to the iron, which is right here, if I remember correctly. Yes. 
Yeah, we're gonna have some break risks all over the place. We can put a water gazing spot and some fishing spots. And that'll give the colonists a little bit more to do. Not like they're not already over queued anyway, but eh, we can get We will take that chunk and that chunk. Yeah, it's going to get serious here. Um, I wonder if pulling everybody inside would work. I think it's too late. I don't think it's cumulative. Let's find out. No, nope, it's just going to be 10 for the next two days. Everybody's going to be particularly touchy. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All the roofs are intact, right? Yes. Yes, no. Do I need that much of a roof? Guess so. Anything else good? Yes. All right. Perfect. All right. I think at this point, coming in on three hours, I'm going to call it a night and call it an episode because I got to go eat some food and do all of that stuff. So yes, we'll probably pick this up here in the next day or two and continue on with uh, Gilligan's Island Rimworld style. So far not doing so bad and now that I've got some resources together and a little bit more of a plan everything should start going much smoother our next big plan is fishing and get the stone carving area open because I wanna I'm gonna go ahead and re-expand this room so that we have lots of room for stone chunks so and that is what's gonna happen so with that in mind I'm going to say, as I always do, that until next time, this is Permadeath Extraordinaire. Loving y'all.